Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stefan Ash, and today I got another video for you for Final Fantasy XIV. I wanted to talk about retainers in Final Fantasy XIV and if they're really worth the price for paying the additional amount for retainers. Before I jump into this video, I want you to comment down below and let me know your opinion on retainers. Do you like having additional retainers or do you just keep the two that come with the base game? I am always fascinated to see other people's opinions about retainers because they vary so much in this game. I'm going to cover a few different perspectives about retainers and these are just my own personal opinions and hopefully from this you can make your own opinion about whether you should buy the additional retainers or if you should just keep the two retainers. I'm going to go over how I make some passive income with retainers and kind of how I utilize them in order to make my game life more enjoyable. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. It really helps out my growing channel. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. A basic overview of retainers are they are the main storage space in Final Fantasy XIV. You can utilize them by using the bells, which are in most main cities. You can customize your retainers looks and glamour as well as give them a battle class or gathering class. You start off with two retainers initially when you start Final Fantasy XIV. Every retainer above your initial two will cost you two extra dollars a month. Your main focus for most of the game is to level up your retainers as quickly as possible since that is when the benefits really come about. Choose a class that you're going to take to 80 as your retainers can only go as high as the class you have chosen for them. You send your retainers out by using venture tokens which can be bought through your grand company NPC. Mostly what I did is just sending them out on 18 hour ventures up until 80 and for my days off work would then just send them to the highest level hour ventures if I knew I was going to be playing all day. It takes about 5 to 8 1 hour ventures to compare to the experience of an 18 hour venture. Let's talk about some of the benefits of retainers. I currently have 5 retainers. I do have a max level crafter and for me I find it difficult to maintain my inventory with anything below 5. Some people can do it, but I pay the extra $6 a month in order to bring a better quality of life to my gaming experience. And that's really what I wanted to say is that for the more retainers that I have, the easier the inventory management, which means less time having to worry about sorting through things, selling through things, just to make space when I know I'm going to need the materials later down the road for something random I'm working on. Another benefit of retainers is their ability to gather materials. I have one battle class and four gatherer classes. It's relatively easy to level up Gatherer to 80 in my opinion. It's not difficult, just a little time consuming. It makes it so easy to gather stacks of crafting materials rather quickly when you have one Gatherer at level 80. Currently right now I'm selling shards on the market board. The stacks are different depending on the price, but having my retainers gather 100 every 40 minute really piles up quickly and they're always needed no matter what. There are also other things you can gather that are current with the patch and that is just understanding your market board and the end game content to see what people need for crafting. Knowing I have my retainers to do things such as gathering materials for crafting or to sell on the market board while I go on about my day playing the content I want to play makes Final Fantasy XIV that much more enjoyable. I will say because I know I'm going to be playing Final Fantasy for a long time, it really makes it worth it for me to get the retainers, knowing that it's going to improve my quality of life in game, and I'm going to see benefits for months and years to come. Ultimately, you have to do what's right for your budget for retainers, and I would never tell anyone to get additional retainers if they have trouble paying their bills at home. Um, but if you do have the additional income in order to get the retainers, it really relieves a lot of the inventory management stress as well as brings in some pretty easy ways to make some passive income for you to enjoy other parts of the game. I just wanted to give a positive review on retainers because I know there are a lot of negative ones out there and I personally love having additional retainers and will potentially go up to nine retainers eventually. Even one extra retainer I think really makes it worth the price. If you like this video don't forget to boop that like button and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!